Hi, here we're going to cover how to track downloads on your website. But not only that, how to automatically categorize your downloads by file type. So if you have a website where you want users to access documents or files, downloads, this is how you can track those downloads using Google Tag Manager so that your data comes into Google Analytics. You'll need a Google Analytics account so you can find the data under behavior in the left navigation and then drilling down to events and top events. This is where we'll send the download data. So if we go to Google Tag Manager where we'll configure the tags, there are a couple steps that we'll need to do in GTM here. So what we'll do is configure the the tag, the event tag, the trigger, which will provide the conditions upon which the event tag will fire and configure the variables. So first, we will configure the variables, make sure that we have the right variables set up. And in general, for your Google Tag Manager, you will want to have all the variables all the built-in variables under pages, event, clicks, all the, all the variables under clicks are good to have, but we'll really just use the click URL there, as well as forms. We won't use these, but these are good to have as well. And if you want video tracking, scroll tracking, those are good to have as well. So we have our variables. Now we'll go to configure the tag. So in this window here, we'll click on new and then label it GA event. File download, downloads tag, and then click on tag configuration for universal analytics, event, and in category, we're going to type downloads. For the event action, we're going to create a new custom variable. So you can do that either by clicking on this Lego icon and clicking the plus here, or you can type double brackets and then scroll down and click new variable. So for this variable, it's going to be a URL variable and we'll call it file extension variable. So we'll click on variable configuration, choose URL, and then in the dropdown for component type, select file extension. So we can take a look at the more settings and the URL source will be the page URL. That's what we want. Format value. You can take a look at these settings here to see if you want to change the value according to your preferences. For us, we're going to change the case to all lowercase. So all the values that are passed into this variable will be turned into lowercase. And then we'll save this variable. So when the event tag fires and captures the file extension from the URL, it'll pass that value into the event action. And then for label, we are going to use the click URL and then we scroll down and then configure the Google Analytics settings. If you have a GA settings variable already configured, I would suggest you use that. If not, click on enable override settings in this tag and then input your GA UA ID. So that's this 
this value right here, this tracking ID. Okay, so since we already have the GAUA settings variable configured, that's what we're going to use. Make sure I uncheck that. And then we'll configure the trigger. So what we're going to do is create a new trigger and we'll call it a link click file download trigger. Click on the trigger configuration and then select just links, some clicks. And what we're going to do is click wait for tags. So what this setting does, it delays the opening of links until all the tags have fired. So we want to make sure that our event tag fires. So we're going to enable this setting and we'll just leave it at 2000 milliseconds. So we want this trigger to be enabled when all of these conditions are true. And we're just going to set this to page URL matches regex and input a period asterisk. Regex is short for regular expression. And this regex here with the dot and the asterisk, it's looking for any character with the dot and then with the asterisk, zero or more of that character. So for all the page URLs, this trigger is going to check if there are any values that meet this criteria. So if that's true, if it does meet the condition, then the trigger will be enabled. And then if we go down here, fire this trigger when an event occurs and all of these conditions are true. For this dropdown, we're going to choose click URL. And then we're going to select matches regex and we'll paste the regex in this field here and this will look for click URLs that have these file name extensions and that includes PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, PowerPoints, ODT files, zip files, RAR files, .txt files, and so forth. Now, these question marks here are looking for zero or one of the previous characters. So for Excel files, for example, it's looking for either .xls or .xlsx extensions. So either one of those will pass this condition. So let's save this trigger and take a look at the configuration for this event tag. So downloads for the event category, the URL file extension for event action, and then for the event label, the actual file download. So the event action is what will automatically categorize each download according to file type. So let's save this. We'll click on preview, allow this window to load, and you have to grab your website URL that you want to test. So this is what we're going to test and we'll click on connect. We'll wait for this to load and Tag Assistant tells us that our preview mode is connected. So we'll click on this page here where I've set up a couple download links. So we have this PDF download up here and then another PDF down here. So let's try clicking on the first PDF link. 
So this is what happens. This is the file that comes through. If we go to our Tag Assistant tab, let's click on Continue, and we can see that all these tags have fired, including our GA event file download. So we can click on that, and these are all the values that are included with this tag. And what we can do is click on this 14 link click, which corresponds to what's shown on the left side here. So that's the 14th event. And then we can see that all the conditions for the trigger have been met. So that's why the event tag fired. And what we can do is in the upper right corner here, select the values radio button. And this will give us the actual values. So for category, event category, it gives us downloads. That's what we, that's what we set. So the event actions should say PDF instead of HTML. But let's look at our event label. Okay, the event label here, it does give us the correct file download. So you can see here the, the file extension is a PDF. So instead of HTML, it should be PDF. So what we're going to do is go back to GTM and change the variable for file extension and under more settings, we're going to change the URL source to click URL instead of the page URL. Because the page URL will just give us the, the, page U, the URL of the page that we're already on. But instead, we want the click URL. Okay, so we'll save that variable so let's preview and test this again. So that's the website URL that we want. Click connect, wait for it to load. Okay, we're connected with Tag Assistant and then we'll click on the page with the down download links. We'll click on this download. Okay, it's loaded. Now we'll go back to our Tag Assistant preview tab and check to see that our file download event tag has fired. We'll go to the click, the link click that corresponds with this tag and make sure that the radio button is set to values and then click on show more. So event category downloads, that's what we want event action, which should be the file type. That's what we want. And then the event label, the actual URL of the file download. So everything checks out here, but let's go back to the other download link. So if we click on that, it's also another PDF file. Let's go back here, click on summary, and it should actually be the last link click. So, because that was the last action that we took. So we can just click on 15 link click and we see on that action, the event file download tag fired. So we can click on that we can check our values by clicking show more, downloads, again, PDF, and the actual download file URL. So we look good here, and we'll just click out of that. Now let's go to Google Analytics and look at our real-time data. So in the left navigation, click on real time, overview, 
under events and click on oh let's make sure we're in the right account how about that so digital sandbox website that's the one we've been using and there it is our download events so if we click on events in the last 30 minutes so we can see here that's the that's number two the second row is the one we were first testing but the first row shows us our successful download tracking with two events here under PDF so if we click into that into the downloads category, we can see each of the file downloads that we have. Now, if we go back up and we click on PDF, we can see the, the ones that tracked correctly. And there they are, both of the PDF files that we have. So these tags are Good to go. So you can go back to your GTM tab and whenever you feel like it's a good time to publish this GTM container with the tag, the trigger, and the variables that we've configured, just click on submit. You can name this version file download tracking. Add a description here. We'll say tracking file downloads by file type. And then click on publish when you're ready. Now we have file download tracking configured and published to our container. So next we will cover reporting for file downloads setting up a report in Data Studio and setting up a report in GA4. So if you want to see those videos, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.